several months ago, probably back in February, we started discussing uh, the possibility of a solar field. We had this land, this is our village land, and what kind of benefit it would be for our community. So that was the initiation of looking at this and presenting it to council, and um, it became sort of a snowball going forward. We had an agreement signed and executed by the beginning of September, and September 4th, we broke ground. I'm gonna say from civil phase to racking phase, uh, we were about a two week period. And uh, for a commercial operation, that's, that's pretty darn fast, it really is. We brought in the electrical services group the very beginning of October. And as you can see right here, in this portion of the Northwest field, we are probably about a third of the way done with the project already. The electrical industry here in Ohio is constantly evolving. Um, things are definitely changing all the time. Um, and it's the same with the solar industry as well. So what we did was we established a relationship with the consultant that was running the RFP process and with the village administrator. And just over time, just throughout different kind of conversations, everybody sort of understood what the need was for uh, the village of Monroeville. And eventually what I think happened was we created and we kept on following up on it. We eventually created the best value proposition. And I think Tom realized the benefits and ultimately he pulled the trigger on using us to deploy this project. To see the community involvement on all these levels has been great. The positive attitudes when it comes to renewables. Now to see the students coming out. And back in October, we were approached by the village manager, Tom Gray, who said that the EHOVI would like to come out, at least see the site, maybe if they could get involved. By October, middle of October, I'm, I'm gonna say probably October 10th or 12th, we had the students out here hands-on working with the civil site contractor, working with the mechanical contractors, and now they're working with the electrical services contractor. They're pulling wire as we speak. Our kids have modules that they learn in the classroom in regards to solar, but we've never been able to go out and truly apply what they've learned. Um, so this has been an, an opportunity that that we couldn't have done without E-Tree and the village of Monroeville. We're pretty excited to have that uh, opportunity for our students. Um, it's a 14,000 solar panel site. It's gonna do about 3.1 megawatts to the city of Monroeville. And uh, what a great opportunity for our students and for EHOVI, uh, bringing some real life job experience for our students. And, and that's really one of our goals is, uh, you know, I've got some solar trainers behind us that we can work on in class and we can practice on, but to take them out onto a job site that has uh, everything we've been involved in from, from layout to installation, to wire pulling, to panel installation, it's just a great opportunity for those, those students to get uh, hands on. Uh, um, possibly some solar credentials for their resume. Um, so we're, we're excited about all those things. I'm from Monroe, so it's kind of cool to like get into the community and help the community. And just working with electricity, it's just really cool. I mean, we come out here like almost two times a week and we're always doing something different. And that's really cool to like, you know, we're not always doing the same thing, we're always doing something different, that's really cool. The most interesting part is that how many people can say that they've worked on solar panels before in their lifetime and I get that opportunity to come out here, be a part of the community and actually work on something real special. We're really, really excited for all the opportunity that's brought. Um, it's definitely opened up a lot more doors. I think because of this one project, we're able to talk to a lot of other municipalities and cooperatives uh, who are interested because they're starting to understand the benefits. And again, it's not just clean, uh, affordable energy. It's an ability to really get your community involved and really get other people interested in something that will benefit the community.